Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a collective uh, reading. If you are returning back, welcome back. And if you're new, listen, my channel is Real Talk. It gets very intense. So I've got to tell you that at the top of uh, these videos because when the spirit is uh, upon me, uh, a lot of times I am fighting against wicked energy. Okay. I read by way of the scripture because the scripture is found in the tarot. If you never heard that before, it absolutely is here. And uh, we're in an hour where the great Elohim is making uh, uh, the crooked places uh, straight, okay? And he is, for his namesake, getting up and uh, correcting nastiness in the earth. And I'm called to do a real heavy work. And so... Um, You'll get anything here, whatever. You'll hold the Elohim, the maker of it all, heaven and earth, the heaven of heavens. Whatever he brings out, it's it's uh, it's his business that uh, I'm tending to. So we just let him speak here. Um, so anyway, I'm glad to have you. If you do stay, if you don't and you got to go away, then I guess you've got to go away. Otherwise, welcome to this channel. If it's a birthday, happy birthday. If it's an anniversary, happy anniversary. All of that kind of stuff. Love and light to anyone who's down and out. So we're going to start this uh, reading here this morning with a scripture. Okay, It may or may not go with what comes out uh, for the actual reading. But I just want to start out today with a scripture just for all of us. For the eclect for the collective. You hope I appreciate you so very much. I just appreciate um, your uh, great shalom, your peace that passes all understanding. Yehovah, I thank you that you are a shield and buckler uh, for your people. I thank you that uh, you are um, you are protecting and uh, doing a great dividing right now in the earth and uh, those who serve you and those who do not. Uh, it is evident. And I thank you that you teach our hands how to war and uh, that uh, you are getting rid of wickedness in the earth in a very fierce way. And you're chasing your enemies seven ways. And uh, we just we just uh, are part of your army. You'll hold that we'll get up and fight and do what you tell us to do in this hour to get wickedness out of the earth. You hold a rebuke, bind and block every wicked, foul, dark thing. Shove it down to the pit where it belongs. I ask for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding, and that you would just come and lead and guide this message today. We have a man's belly shall be satisfied by the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That's right. That's exactly right. Thank you, Yehovah, for your word. So we just speak your word because it's life. What else are you going to bring out here? For bodily exercise profiteth little, but righteousness is profitable unto all things. Having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come. Thank you, Yehovah. Thank you for your word. At the bottom of the deck... The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thine eye is clear, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is perverted, thy body also is full of darkness. You know, we got a lot of uh, darkness in the world because of how people uh, treat people and all the perverted, twisted things out there. And um, people... Um, speaking um, nasty to people, causing uh, stupidness within uh, situations and families and friendships and connections and things like that. It's just been so disgusting. Um, people being superficial, thinking that, um, uh, you know, this scripture coming out about bodily exercise, you know, the way that people look and things like that. Um, it's, it's profitable just a little bit, but, um, you know, having righteousness profits everything. Thank you, Yehovah, for the, these reminders today. All right, let's see what comes out here. What do you want to bring out here, Yehovah? Yehovah. 
We have the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, the Three of Swords, and the Page of Swords is out here. Uh, there could be some communication that's going to uh, rest this heart since the sun's out here. There's been hardship already with five pentacles. This is hardship on, on finances and things like that. Things around love and romance are here today being dealt with within communication. Things like that. Some type of challenging information could be here. Uh, causing somebody to be a little insecure to um, communicate. Things like that. Uh, there's some type of a collaboration that was around some third party for some of you all, then so be it, or is today, uh, then so be it, uh, something's uh, around some type of uh, being left out in the cold within matters, but something's being forced here when the sun comes out. At the bottom of the deck, the four of pentacles, uh, somebody's been uh, greedy and things like that, but there's some type of communication coming. There's a communication coming. Let's... Uh, Let's clarify. Let's see what this message is. Somebody's been holding back overall energy at the bottom of the deck with that four of pentacles, with that greed. Okay, uh, there's there's money situations out here around some stuff, and greed is the root of all evil. Okay. And somebody's greedy, then their mouth does not speak life. Then, and they open up their mouth, um, their fruit is discussed. Okay, they've got some has had an attachment over here with that four of pentacles, won't let go of something. There's a uh, um, there's an energy that uh, I'm picking up on. Um, what it's coming through my spirit, it'll come up in just a second. <laughs> I'm hearing it in my spirit as, as, as if it's a far off, but uh, or it's been a, a long time. Somebody's holding to a grudge. Thank you. Hold on. Um, yeah, there's been a grudge here. There's been a sadness around some, you know, heartbreak. Great sadness is what the card says. Okay. And it's, it's right here as well, showing itself to me. Wow. Show me this page. What is this message? This is a spy. Something's right up in somebody's face with the message about, you know, uh, secret investigative stuff out here as well. Show me the spy. So there's communication about being generous, okay? Um, there is something around soulmates or society is here, or community or something social at an event or something. I mean, the holidays and stuff has been here. So show me the six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? Somebody's, there's a lot of pentacles up in this reading. The four pentacles, the seven, the five, the six. There's a lot here. Show me another pentacle somebody's been very slow in being generous or or something like that but something's being forced here yes yeah, so there's somebody's just you know in their mind okay because of the slowness of stuff if somebody's been sitting here for a long time waiting with that seven of pentacles waiting for something that they put in the ground or whatever they've been waiting on this is slow arriving things, but it's finally arriving uh, today. There's there's walls that attacking. There's the King of Pentacles, the boss of something is here. This is somebody returning, putting a judgment on something. Somebody getting skills over their head, then so be it. You hope to give them skills over their head for whatever's happened within some stupid nastiness of that somebody's done. Okay, because somebody paid it, somebody off. Somebody's communicating about some type of payoff here. Something been going on for a long time and caused somebody to be left out in the cold or have less than something. Okay, what is the sun here for? What is the sun here for, Jehovah? The King of Pentacles. Something right up in your face about the King of Pentacles here. About work matters, a boss. 
um, show me this King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is, you know, if he is in the upright and he is being generous, that's what he does. He'll go slow with you. He'll be very practical in the things that he does. Uh, or he's very stubborn and greedy and nasty. Okay, something's been nasty out here. We got, you know, insecurity and, and, and people being cold and less than something. So there's greed out here um, for some people. Or if somebody's going to get up here and, and do the right thing and open up their, their purse strings or give back what's rightfully somebody else's or, or you know, be generous, put the skulls over somebody's head for some of your cases, for, for some of our cases, for a lot of people's cases that have been that way, and do something, then great. Um, we have a boss and an employee energy that's here. Show me this King of Pentacles. Somebody could be working for the government here with the Sun card since it is the... Um, uh, just that in the Hebraic living language, the meaning, the sun on the horizon, something in the morning time. There's the queen of pentacles coming out. Oh, we got a lot of pentacles coming out here. And again, the three of cups. So something social uh, or or soulmates or something. This is a happy card, though, if it is in the upright, but somebody's still in their head. Well, if this scales over people's head and somebody is going to go gel, uh, for something, love good job. Okay, for some stupidness that's taking place. There's a lot of pentacles, a lot of physical things that are here, assets, money, um, things at work, um, things within relationships. All right, show me the queen of pentacles. The last couple times I've done readings with these two characters that have come out, there's not been good stuff that's come out on them. Okay, the, the, those people that are in the negative in that energy. Okay, if you're in the upright, you're in the upright. But I've done some um, readings even with, within the last month. And, and when these two people come out, uh, there hadn't been no good stuff around it. Okay, whatever it has been. Show me this king. So, but if you are in the upright, you are in the upright. It looks good. The sun is here. It is going to turn today. There is generosity. There is some type of communication that possibly could be challenging and heartbreaking to some people. Uh, some stupidness has been going on for a long freaking time because pentacles represent time. Okay? And uh, nothing going to profit nobody outside of righteousness. Okay? A defeat is here on them. Okay? So, or one of the others defeating some situation. Look, the, the pentacles. This is my God. It's here twice. And um, the five of pentacles is a defeat. Okay. There's love situations that have been around here. Show me, show me the uh, three of swords. Somebody's going to be heartbroken because there is a defeat. And somebody's going to get the skills over their head. Within matters and great. Somebody got conflict here uh, within the mind space with that five of swords. Or these two people do, or something about them right up in the freaking face. Yeah, look. It's here twice. It's, it's here at the bottom of the deck as well. A lot of pentacles today. A lot of money. A lot of greed. A lot of stupidness. Spying. Um... This holding on to all you have because somebody has been put out. Look, all the pentacles are here. Um, my God, there's large sums of money involved in some stuff out here. Large sums of money. But what profits us, people? Righteousness. Righteousness. Okay? Your money ain't going to buy you nothing um, but a ticket to hell because it's greed. Okay? Uh, there's a great big tree here showing up here great big tree and we're supposed to be trees of righteousness okay get up and do the right thing um or you're the profane if all you can think about is money 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 and paying somebody off uh to do some stupid and this heartbreak out here then you're you are evil at the root uh of your tree you don't have no fruit your eye is darkened and somebody could get up and do the opposite of that in the upright then let you hold a bless you um, especially giving back things that don't belong to some people. Okay. Somebody has a, a true full mutual interest out here and there's a conflict around the thing. Okay. If you got a younger person that's been around that or something like that, because we do have three, uh, literal people. We have a younger person here with the knight. Okay. 
um, or somebody in your family or something like that don't like a connection there has been something around love and romance and somebody does love and it's a mutual interest but there's been a heartbreak around that okay somebody involved with this uh, situation just for, <laughs> just for whatever reason why you might know one person that does this all the time but somebody who spits all the time well you know Jehovah spits also we can find it in the scripture I won't get into it but anyway there's a plumber involved in something. Some type of a flash violent change is here today. Well, let it be against Jehovah's enemies because he uh, he literally will chase his enemies seven ways. So let Elohim arise and let his enemies be freaking scattered for some heartbreaking thing that, that's taken place within a matter. Because somebody out here has an evil eye, okay? Somebody out here thinks that, uh, you know, physical things or physical exercise is profiting, profiting, profiting them, and it's not. It's righteousness that profits, okay? Uh, somebody says, I'm not ashamed of you, and it's truthful, it's mutual out here. Okay, well, somebody needs to get up and say, okay? Um, some type of a, a grinding mill or something about plaster is here. You could work with that kind of stuff as well. We also have um, some type of um, something being ground like to, it to powder, like a medicine or something like that. So you're dealing with some, somebody who is um, dealing with uh, illness of some sort, then so be it. Why that's written on that card? I'm not real sure, but I did write it on there. So we'll just bring it out. I don't question why Jehovah brings certain things out. A battle and a warring energy, yes. And Jehovah's fighting for the upright. Thank you, Jehovah. And somebody who smokes is also here. Okay. Uh, something is, has been complex and uh, honor truth and clarity okay well it should be the way somebody should be speaking today and honoring the truth of a thing okay I uh, thank you Jehovah he says you're protected if you're in the upright you and I are in the upright we are protected and to be protected we're dealing with the sons of Belel and um, the scripture says that uh, when you deal with those you have to be protected and they have to be thrust through with a spear Okay, so some somebody's wicked out here. They do need to be thrusted through with this freaking spear for some people. As we're dealing with the the dead, people are just dead thinking that don't just I can just pay people off to do this or that. We're dealing with the evil out here as well that's come out here. Uh, somebody talented is involved in something, and um, for it is not a vain thing for you to keep the commandments of Jehovah and to teach your children. For it is your life. It's our life. To keep the commandments. You and I can do whatever we want. Jehovah gives us free will. But he tells us that it's our life to keep it. Okay. Um, so that we will prolong our days on the earth. Okay. Well. Some people don't give a rip. And your days won't be prolonged on the earth. Don't care how many hardships. And what people do in this realm. Just because they sit in a place of authority do. Jehovah's authority over them. They don't even sit where they sit. Outside of Jehovah putting them. He, he, he plants and he uproots. He does. And we are dealing with a rebellious person out here. We have the rebellion room. Somebody's had a strong compulsory time. They've had an attachment here. And it's been heartbreaking around uh, some situation. Because they're idiots to be that way. Um, they're in apathy. They don't care. This is an apathy rune. This is an agitation. You go ahead and be agitated. We don't care about you. Let Jehovah arise and you be scattered. You want to you wanna be disgusting and not bring forth good fruit. You want to hold people back, throw them out and do whatever. Let Jehovah now let you experience it because he's not going to be mocked. Whatever you sowed in the ground, you are going to reap it. Okay. It's also been a difficult lesson. Okay. Somebody's also been out of their necessities. Yes, they have. It's right here. It's out here it was out here twice with the other five of uh, pentacles. That's people being thrown out of stuff. Just because somebody else has some stupid attachment and they can got money to pay somebody off to do whatever. You will go after these freaks today, please. This is the letter N. It also looks like the X. We also have the Q out here, and that's that's all that's out here. Uh, let's see what's hidden that needs to be exposed here. Show me next 24 hours that you want to expose, Jehovah, that we're going to understand about within the energy of, of the thing. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, naturally. Next 24 hours, what's hidden that you want to expose, Jehovah? Reveal it, please. Um, so we have some couple here. Okay, involved in some situation. And um, this is 
somebody's partner for some of you all. They could be friends. They could be soulmates. Both these people are involved in some situation out here, okay? And then there's been some type of a rebellion energy around uh, the ordeal. Uh, this is also a card of somebody very masculine. So we have somebody, who, so if you're doing somebody who goes to the gym or something like that for you, hoping to bring out uh, about bodily exercise and things like that, and so be, then that's here. Um, this could be somebody's friend. It's a, it's somebody that is, uh, both these people, somebody that is close to you or that you know involved in something or that's you and another person. Uh, these two people could be in the upright. One or the other is or isn't or both aren't for any given person, whoever they are. Um, there's, there's something out here about these two people specifically. Okay. A, there's two A connections out here between these two people. Then so be it. This could also represent, uh, your mother, a uh, sister, a friend as well, the subconscious mind. Okay. And this is about being logical as well. The next 24 hours, something about these two people are out here. Um, the fish is here. This is about, um, there's a K here. Um, the fish goes back to trading things. It's a financial card. It's um, it's an exchange of something. It's independence. It's something around. It represents water. And again, when I do the when I do readings, a lot of times uh, something comes out around camping or water or something with these two people. Okay, so these two people are not in the upright. Okay, and they've done something around a connection or a family tree or uh, threw somebody out or traded something for some financial thing, then then they would be defeated. Okay, because a uh, defeat is here. If these people are in the upright and they, and they are keeping the commandments, then they're defeating some stupidness and something's finally arriving. It's been going on for a long time. Okay, whatever that is, this is independence by the end of the day within some matter because somebody's cray cray out here with the rebellion rune. At the bottom of the deck, the clouds are here. Uh, problems, setbacks, delays, confusion, distortion, being unclear, hidden uh, things, uh, misunderstandings, stupidness like that. Okay. Uh, so, you know, if there's independence from all that, then that's great. Then that's what's coming out. This will come back, people. I hope that you do the right thing and uh, we all find ourselves standing in the true sun. Uh, which is Yeshua and uh, letting our light shine as it should. Something's going to be overturned for something bright here. So it's whatever the independence is, whoever's getting defeated, they deserve to be defeated because they don't stand in the true light. They don't stand in a place um, for uh, Yehovah to come in and bless in the correct way of things. Okay, so whatever's out here today, uh, we just need to honor the truth and clarity. And uh, if you've got to get up in war, Yehovah says, I teach your hands how to war and he will do it through you. Somebody goes by a different name, a.k.a out here okay and so whatever that is for for um any given person i'm just noticing it out here shalom